Welcome back to the channel. I know I typically upload my videos on Saturdays, but um, I wanted to upload today's video on Tuesday, both to sort of satisfy some people over on the Life in Motion Diaries channel where I totally screwed up with the recording of the uh, Lantern Parade at Rock the Riverfront. And also because I felt like it needed to be uploaded a little earlier to still be relevant as to what's going on in Chattanooga at the moment. So this is this is going live on Tuesday, March 26th, I think. Yes, March 26th. Um, don't get used to that. <laughs> uh, just a few words of introduction about this video, and then I'm just going to kind of let it play. But I did take my 28 to 70 lens, which I, I rarely ever take out anymore because it's just so dang heavy. But I had it in my head that I would be there after dark and I wanted to get the F2 out of this camera. I, it didn't dawn on me how late sunset is now. And I was not there after dark and I could have just as easily taken a different camera or a different lens. But so anyway, I had my 28 to 70 F2 on my R6 Mark II. And there are two problems with this particular photo shoot. And so we'll just get those out of the way up front. Number one is I, I, I had a very nice lady from Rock the Riverfront who talked to me about the Lantern Parade, told me where the path was going. I even looked online at the map where it had little arrows and it still, it did not register to me that I had it wrong. If you're familiar at all with Chattanooga, the parade started at the, at the Walnut Street Bridge and it crossed the, the glass bridge back over to the Hunter Art Museum. And then it came down the handicap ramp. And the instruction I got was, then we're going under the bridge. And I know the handicap ramp goes all the way down under Walnut Street Bridge, and there's a little amphitheater down there. And I just had it in my head that people might be down there to watch them go by. And I'd never been to this thing before. I had no idea. So I was stationed down there looking up. And then when I saw them start to snake through, I was going to get everything set up to video them walking by me while I was taking pictures and blah, blah, blah. But they just sort of disappeared. And then it dawned on me. <laughs> she didn't mean the Walnut Street Bridge. She meant the glass bridge. They went under the glass bridge and then walked down the sidewalk up at street level, obviously. And I was nowhere near there. And so even now, I did not really get the parade. I got the after the parade. Which to me was just as good. I, that, that, that's, a, that's an irrelevant kind of problem for this particular photo shoot. The real problem came in the fact that it has been so long since I have tried to photograph something like this that you know I knew I wanted to shoot at about F8 or F11, try to get most everything in focus if I could. But I made the mistake of shooting in aperture priority because I'm thinking, well, they're just walking. They're not moving very fast and motion blur won't be an issue. And a lot of my images were shot at 1 80th of a second or 1 100th of a second. And they still had too much motion blur. Some pictures came out just fine um, because, you know, people were sort of standing still. But a few that weren't too bad, the sharpening AI that I use in Photoshop saved a few pictures. Not ideal, but it saved a few. And then a lot of pictures that I was really excited about taking just did not work at all because they were just too blurry. I should have been shooting in shutter speed priority, and I should have had a minimum of 1 250th of a second. I probably should have just shot that 1 500th of a second, which is where I normally shoot, and let the ISO go where it goes. And, I, you know, like I say, it's been a long time. Lesson learned. Having said that, 
what I did do, I, I was carrying my backpack and I had my pocket three up here on my shoulder strap to sort of get a point of view video as I was taking pictures. And that's what you're going to see in, in this particular video is what my pocket three was capturing along with some of the images that I took. And so now that I have totally given you all the bad stuff about the video, we're going to turn it over to the good stuff and uh, the things that I think turned out okay. I hope you enjoy. If you get a chance, go down to see Rock the Riverfront. They do all kinds of stuff for about a month. This just happened to be one of them, and, and it was thoroughly enjoyable. Thanks for watching.